But more needs to be done and we prepare for that next time. And also for the government for hosting the games. Also for CAC for making the destination of the Continental Games in Kenya. We are so proud and we are happy as Kenyans. Even if we didn't get a medal, it doesn't mean that we are losers. No. We go back to the drawing board, we prepare, we come back again. And uh, a winner is a person who tried one more time. So I'm sure we we'll get there and we we'll win gold for Kenya. We just need little support from the government and it will be possible because we believe it's possible. And that's why, despite being in the sport for more than eight years, we still have hope. And we still have hope we bring medal for Kenya. Yes. We need more support. Like, uh, King James Senior We need more support and this is a wake up call for the government. Like we have the potential. If you look, we are not far from the top, but we are not yet there. We need just a little push from the government, and it is possible. It's possible. We fought so hard, as hard as you could. You can see my face is full of salt. Yes. Yeah? We keep did our best, and we worked as Team Kenya with the training we had, but we are not yet there. We still have a milestone to go. Uh, I was in South Africa and I was doing a race in Sida which uh, I went to the team money and that was position two. So it's not that we're that bad. It's just that we just need some fine tuning. So for me, I went to South Africa the previous weekend. I was second. And now I, so that prepared me for this. You know about how you prepare. Winning doesn't come easy. The person who will win 2025 the World Championship will start preparing from now towards that day. It's all about how well prepared are you when you're going to these competitions, you see? And this is a wake-up call to the government to support riders. They always say they are creating job opportunities, they are building houses, but nobody talks about sports, you see? If the government would invest in sports, you, can, you have seen how many youth are turning out to their bicycles. And you see, when you invest in sports, I cannot use drugs, I'll be self discipline I'll take good care of myself, I'll be a responsible citizen, because when you're doing sports, you need to be sober, you need to be self disciplined So if the government would sponsor or get involved in sports and push us, they always put their fast foot on, like on running, rugby, they forgot about everything, you see? And this is a challenge. And I'm happy that these games came to Kenya. It's the first thing that ever happened in Kenya. I've been in the sport for almost eight years now, you see? We are less recognized, and we would urge the government to have an opportunity and consider cycling as a sport. You have seen the way it has marketed our tourism, you see? And by that, we create more opportunities for our riders and more chances to expose Kenya to the world. And we have other UCI cycling events 
in like gravel. See, we have two gravel races which are UCI qualifications. So Kenya is growing in terms of cycling, and the more this race goes, the more we need to prepare our riders for good performance. Finally, event is an eye opener for the younger generation, and I am taking part in this event. It shows that anybody can take part in international events as long as you're willing to pay the price of being disciplined, consistent, you work hard, you work smart, and you are patient enough, you'll get there. Kama jina najirikana kama David Kinja, mimi coach wa team ya Safari Simbas, pia mimi ni kiongozi katika team ya National of Kenya. Yana tulikuwa tunakimbia mbio za individual time trial, na leo tulikuwa tunakimbia ili naitua mixed relay team time trial. Na tunafuraia kwa hii michezo kufanyika hapa nchini Kenya, mjini Eldoret. Ni mara ya kwanza aswa kwa nchi ya Kenya kuhost Africa Championships. Ni vizuri kwa wenyeji Kenya kuona mchezo wa huu baisikili lenye unafanyika yani cha ukweli kwa sababu wamezoea wame kuona tu kwa TV wanasema hii ni michezo ya wazungu lakini sasa wanaona kweli kuna Africans na Africa countries zenye zimeshikilia mchezo huu unaona nchi zenye zimefika hapa nchi zaidi ya 20 kuna nchi zingine zenye wamechukulia hii sport very very serious ukiona kama nchi ya Morocco nchi kama ya Rwanda Eritrea Ethiopia hata South Africa walikuwa huko unaona nchi kama za Ghana Nigeria wote wako na kawaida michezo kwao hii ya baisikili inafanyika inafanyika sana hapa kwetu Kenya ndio kidogo tuko nyuma lakini wachezaji wenyewe kusema kweli wamengangana wamejaribu kushikilia mchezo sasa ni serikali na viongozi yani federation pamoja na sports authorities kama Kenya National Sports Council na National Olympic Committee of Kenya nao pia wajikakamue watafute udhamini ili tuweze kuenua huu mchezo. Unaona tangu tuanze jana Kenya hakijapata medali yoyote. Hiyo ni, ni, ni ishara ya kwamba kuna kazi yenye haijafanywa yenye inafaa. Lakini tunafurahia sana kwamba huu mchezo umefanyika hapa ili tupate kuvuta socks juu na hasa communities na wenyeji wa huku wapate kuelewa kidogo zaidi ya mchezo ili wanapotuona barabarani ama wanapotunapokutana tujuane na pia tupeane heshima na pia waweze kutudhamini watuone kama tunafaa kweli. Eh kwa hapa kusema kweli ni barabara zetu za kawaida tu za nyumbani za mjini. Kwa hivyo hazijatayarishwa hasa za baisikeli namna ile lakini hata ukienda nchi za nje pia wana hizo changamoto. Kwa hivyo wenye wamepanga hiyo route na venye niliona uh, city council ama council, town council wamejitolea wakaondoa bumps zingine zilikuwa ni kubwa sana ama zingine zimeenuka sana na pia wakazibaziba mashimo na firaka sasa ili mchezo uweze kufanyika kwa hivyo ni ni shukrani sana walifanya vile na ruti imekuwa tu simba altitude kidogo iko juu